Hi friends, welcome to JE Max, JE Mains Advanced Extreme Series. This is season number 2 of JE Max, uh, actually in season number 2 we are completely concentrating on a particular topic which is very very useful for JE Mains and Advanced Examination of that complex number series 1. So far successfully we have completed 18 lessons of the complex numbers and every minute part of the complex numbers that I have been providing with these videos, please don't forget to check the description there. I am providing very good important lessons, links of our previous videos and assignments and tests also for practice. Please don't forget to press the bell icon for getting the new notifications of our series. This is lesson number 19 of the complex numbers. So far successfully we have completed 18 lessons of the complex numbers. And through this lesson number 18, uh, we are just concentrating the standard loci of the complex numbers in the organ plane. Because uh, in a competitive examinations, uh, nowadays uh, they are asking very good questions based on the locus of the prob locus problems. Of that, uh, if you are master these standard loci, then you will uh, uh, understand, okay, what kind of uh, um, pictures uh, with the help of the given relations uh, we can uh, imagine on the organ plane very easily without solving anything on paper. But uh, if situation demands, uh, anyhow that is a different story we can derive the equations. But without uh, putting anything on paper with the help of this information you can understand okay whenever the complex number satisfies these kind of relations this like us may be appear of that. Uh, here I am giving some of the important information. That means, number one, if z is a variable point in the argand plane such that argument of z is equal to theta, then locus of z is a straight line excluding origin. This already I told. Because suppose this is the argand plane and this is the point given for you. This is a P of z and if it is angle making an angle like theta, an argument of z is equal to theta, then z is what? Locus of z is what? A straight line excluding origin. There is no point at all. And moreover, this theta is what? Inclined and angle theta with x axis. This is the situation. So, whenever argument of theta is given for you, then immediately, please don't draw a line which is passing through origin. Please don't draw a line which is passing through origin. Or you can do one thing. If argument of z is equal to theta, you can draw the line which is passing through origin excluding, excluding, you can do like this, you can draw, you can draw the line like this. This is theta. So, this is locus of z. So, every point on the line we are considering except this origin. That's why excluding origin. Because if origin is included, then argument of complex number is not defined. That's why. So, this is the ray. You can get an infinite ray. It is what? It is not a line. It is an infinite ray. It is what? Infinite ray. It is going like this. Or it, go, it, it can. It can. Clear? But no zero is involved. So this is the concept of locus. Now coming to the second one. If z is a variable point and z1 is a, a fixed point on the organ plane, such that argument of uh, z minus z1 is equal to theta, then locus of z is again, yeah, as I said just now, it is what, a straight line, which includes an angle theta with x axis, note that z1 excluded from the point. It is generalized version of the above. There, z, argument of z is equal to theta, that I can write it as argument of z minus 0. Just in the place of 0, you replace with z1. So, 1 and 2 are same. There in z minus 0, origin is excluded, whereas in z minus z1, z1 is excluded. The rest of the things is similar. So, whenever argument of z minus z1 is equal to something is given for you, then it is what? A, a, a ray again, it is a ray, not a segment. Please, try to understand. It is a straight line. Actually, I can say this is a ray, infinite ray, excluding the point z1, excluding the point. This you have to concentrate. Now coming to the third one. If z is a variable point and z1 and z2 are the two fixed points in the organ plane, then of that first one. If distance between uh, z and z1 and z and z2 are equal, that means uh, if this is a point a z1 is given for you, this is the point b z2 is given for you. 
and a point is such that the distance between these two are equal this is equal and this is the point such that the distance between these two points are equal this is the point such that the distance between these two points are equal that this is the point such that the distance between these two points are equal the locus of all these points is nothing but the perpendicular bisector of these two points so it is what a perpendicular bisector because the same thing we have derived in our coordinate geometry also the same thing here i am representing in complex numbers so whenever mod of z minus z1 is equal to mod of z minus z2 then locus of z is what perpendicular bisect similarly if pa plus pb is equal to some constant where that constant is not equal to z1 and z2 then locus is what a lips that already that that you know it well pa plus p ps1 ps plus ps2 or pa plus pb where a and b are the what is called um, 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 uh, vertices of the ellipse then uh, the locus of z is what uh, an ellipse several times questions were repeated when pa plus pb is equal to constant and that constant is not equal to the distance between the two points then the locus of z is what ellipse similarly when pa plus pb is equal to ab that means distance between the point then it is what a line segment joining z1 and z2 not the infinite ray it is what a line segment whereas in previous locuses it is what infinite ray whereas here it is a line segment but only that part see this is called a line it is infinite ray where this is called segment this is called what segment this is the distance difference between a line line means infinite ray segment means the part only the finite length similarly mod of z minus z1 minus mod of z minus z2 is equal to mod of z1 minus z2 then line it is a line segment joining z1 z2 but z is not lie between z1 and z2 almost c and d both are similar but whereas in c z is in between z1 and z2 whereas in d z not lie between z1 and z2 that means two segments you will get it that means uh, the point like this this is suppose z1 this is suppose z2 here this is suppose z exclude ex uh, exclude this point you consider this line that means you are getting a line with uh, some hole in between them now coming to e similarly difference between the distances is equal to constant and that constant is not equal to distance between the two points then locus of z is the hyperbola just like uh, the definition of uh, uh, ellipse it is the hyperbola and some of the squares of the distances uh, are equal then the locus is what a circle that already we derived there is called extremity e is circle where at which z1 z2 are extremity cells diameter and moreover whenever um, distance between one point is k times distance between another two points where k not equal to 1 then locus of z is a circle this is also very very important similarly whenever argument of z minus z1 by argument of z minus z2 is equal to alpha that means it is like this this is b z and this is a z1 and this is b z2 and this is the angle theta or alpha whenever this is given for you then it is what a segment of circle so that means it the situation is like this so some point here that means uh, here it is like this so you are getting some arc the segment the segment that you are getting based on the angle we can get the below arc or above arc that is a difference to that i will explain in the coming if that argument is plus or minus pi by 2 then locus of circle is z1 and z2 as at extremity of the diameter okay so please practice these are the most important locus problems in the complex numbers and as i said mentioned earlier if argument is 0 or pi then locus of z is a straight line through z1 and z2 and if argument of z1 in z1 by z minus z2 is equal to pi where pi is a constant then uh, locus of z is uh, an arc it is like this so the if it is the anti clockwise direction the arc is like this if it is the clockwise direction then the arc is like this that's why so based on, on this angle based on the direction the situation is like this so why i am very much interested on these particular diagrams because if you are good at these particular uh, diagrams locus of the problems if you are imagining 
these kind of diagrams on screen, then problems are very easy for you. You can do wonders with the complex numbers. That's why I'm very much interested on this particular class. Because with the help of all this knowledge, we can solve the problems very quickly. That soon we are entering into solving the problems of our integrated test. First, actually in our previous videos also we have completed first 4.1 exercise. Now we are concentrating on 4.2 exercise. And in 4.2 exercise, several problems are very, very important. They are very useful for J uh, mains and advanced examinations also. That knowledge is very, very helpful for you. So my friends, you please utilize I, uh, this opportunity and uh, with the help of this locus, imagine the nature of the curves. And if you are understanding the behavior of the curves on paper, on in, on, in the organ plane, you can uh, solve the problems very quickly. That's why here I am giving all this info, important learning. Hope uh, you enjoy this video. If you like this, you please uh, share and subscribe my channel. And please don't forget to press the bell icon and we will meet with another video soon. Thank you. Thank you very much.